What's crackling codelets? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Node.js to modify files inside of your file system. So I have a folder here full of images from an old WordPress website. And the problem I'm having is that WordPress likes to create, they auto automatically generate thumbnails for each image that you upload. And so if you have an image like this one right here, and then they'll upload, you know, however many this is, like six, seven, eight, nine, ten other images with different sizes. I don't need all those other images with the different sizes. And so what we want to do is go through here and delete anything that's not the original image. And we're going to use Node.js and the file system module to do that. So let's go ahead and get started. So here I am inside the directory with all these files and we want to match all the files that have these uh, basically endings with three numbers and then an X and then three more numbers so like 100 by 100, 100 by 150 by 150. Also the ones that are 50 by 50 have got to go and I think there's a couple in there that are like 1920, 2340 down here. So we want to match those also. So we are going to go over into a file here that we're going to create. So we'll go ahead and subble an app.js file and save it. So that should have saved it um, here inside of, okay, good. All right, so we have an app.js file inside of this directory. And actually, let me open up the entire directory so we can see the files on the left-hand side. So we'll at least see some of the images changing live as the code is running. And then I'll open up this app.js file. All right, so we want to have access to uh, the, the file system, which is FS. And this is going to allow us to read all of the files inside this directory. So we got to figure out how to do that. So I think it's just read file. And we'll give that a try and see what happens. There we go. All right, so the, the uh, method that we we're looking for is not read files, it's read dir. And then if I'm not mistaken, based on this little article that I just pulled up, it takes two arguments, and then the, the callback function takes two arguments. So we should be in a better place now. Let me get that uh, error handling back in there. There we go. That error argument in there. Cool. All right, so this happened really quickly, but if I scroll upwards, basically this is every single file that's inside of that directory. And so what we want to do now is start matching these files and deleting them. So let's go ahead and do inside of this uh, for each, we're going to do an if statement. And we want to match with a regular expression. And uh, basically, the, the different patterns we had were either uh, two numbers by two numbers, so like digit, this, uh, well we got to use the forward slashes to start our regular expression, and then backslash d, backslash d, and then an x, backslash d, backslash d, and so that should get like 50 by 50. And so if it matches that, or, and we'll go ahead and do another file.match, so this one is the three digits, so it'll be like 500 by 500. And then there's one more in here. And I think it's just gonna be, whoops, four digits by three digits, and that should handle all of our situations. So we can go ahead and put these on their own lines. And that helped me to see a little typo there, so that's good. And that should do it. All right, so now, and this is like really nasty looking, um, but it's easy for you to see like the three different conditions, so that's nice. All right, so oh, also you could you could put all three of these inside of a single regular expression, but I'm definitely no expert at regular expressions, so I'm not gonna try and figure that out right now. So just using these or operators, we've plugged in three different matches. If any of these return true, then we wanna delete that file. So that will be a file.unlink. And I just know that because over here in the documentation, I looked up how to delete a file with unlink. So 
file.unlink takes the file path and then uh, if there's an error we'll go ahead and handle that error here we'll just borrow the same error handler up there otherwise the file will be deleted so we'll just say something like file deleted and so I save this it should start trying to delete stuff all right file.unlink is not a function and that's because unlink is a is something that you call an fs not on the file itself so now that we changed file to fs you'll notice a bunch of stuff got deleted on the left hand side here and so if we start looking through these images we can see it originally there was 1400 images and now it looks like i don't know maybe like 70 or 80. and so we can actually count them real fast we'll get rid of the matching and we'll just say um, counter plus plus and then we'll console log the counter of course we need a counter to begin with so we'll say let counter is equal to zero and see what that tells us so there's 90 files total including the app.js file uh, so we're going to want to ignore that here in a second all right so you'll notice there's two different types of images basically these ones with the longer names and then some that look like they've been named already um, with like more formal names and so we can go through here and take all of these and plug them into a new folder and we'll just rename that folder non-gallery images and so all these other images are gallery images now we are going to encounter an issue here and that is if they're just not that organized right like they've got all these timestamps for the names but that's not particularly useful for a developer who wants to like iterate over these and then display them inside of like a, a template or a website. So what we want to do is rename those. So we already have the counter here and what we'll do is just say if the file matches and we'll do something really simple like if it has a JPEG at the end of it so the dollar sign matches the end of the string and then we just match JPG so if it, if it ends in JPEG, then we know it's a, a JPEG file, right? And so then what we'll do is a file.rename. Here's the original file name. And then the new file name, we'll just take the counter and then plug that in with .jpeg. And then this is probably going to take a, a callback here. And so then just the same thing that we did before. If, if there's an error, we'll go ahead and log it. And if there's not, then we'll just say that the file is renamed. We don't need to log the counter. The one thing we do need to make sure of though is that the counter only gets incremented if it matches with a JPEG file. Because like, let's say that it matches app.js. Uh, we don't want it to increment and then mess up our counting. So we'll put that inside of here and since it starts with zero we don't want to name the first file zero.jpg so we'll actually put the counter above so if you get a match increment it'll start with one and then uh, go on to the end so we'll save this the code's already running in the background and so it looks like there might be an error let's go check it out yes again I did the same thing file.rename should be fs.rename so we'll save that bam all the files got changed automatically there's one, uh, two is down here, and then three is down there after 30 and four. But if you go open these up over here, they're in the correct order. So one, two, three, four, five, six, blah, blah, all the way down to 71. And so that's gonna make it really easy for the developer to then iterate over these images. And so if we create a new folder, we can organize them that way and just say like gallery images. And then of course we don't need this app.js file anymore, so we'll get rid of it. Uh, I'll go ahead and, and put this code inside of a gist uh, so that you can see it and understand it. And then I'll, I'll include some links to the uh, documentation if you're interested in reading up on it. So that's it for using code to do stuff uh, that you could do with your mouse and keyboard or whatever, but uh, it might take a little bit longer, especially if there's tons of images involved. And so one thing I would recommend is always back up stuff before you're doing any type of deleting or editing always back those files up because one simple code mistake and you could delete and lose everything so make sure you back everything up and then have fun with it 
Hopefully you learned something. Thanks a lot. We'll catch you in the next video.